On today's video, we are talking about habits. That's right, habits. Now, if you are into personal development or you watch any personal development channels, read any books, you probably know that habits are pretty in right now, but also very important. A habit is something that you do on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, uh, preferably daily because that helps to actually implement the habit and make it a habit. And you do it consistently because it's something that you wanna change in your life. So that's what a habit is. And if you've ever studied anything about habits, they say that it takes somewhere around 30 to 60 days. There's a lot of different material on it. Some people say 30, some people say 45, some people say 60, some people say 90. But either way, I'd say minimum doing the same thing at the same time every day for at least 30 days to instill it as an actual habit so it makes the change. Habit number one is I want you to make time every single day. And this can be at the same time, I've given this advice a lot to approach one girl. That's it, one girl. If you can approach one girl a day, even for a year, that's 365 girls. So what does that do to you? How does that make you irresistible to women? Well, you are building this skill of communication, specifically in-person communication. That's why I'm not saying go on Tinder and swipe one girl a day. I'm telling you to go up and actually have a conversation because attraction happens in person. So you need to get in front of people. And the best way to do that is to make it a habit. So you can be talking to people every single day. Now the next habit that I wanted to talk about is something that is similar to the last one in terms of practicing conversation, but it's something that you can do every day for 10 minutes that makes a huge difference in being able to learn how to continue conversation, which I know is something that you probably struggle with. So here's what you do. You take some note cards, and let's just say you take 10 note cards, for example. Take 10 note cards, and what I want you to do is write down either some sort of verb or a noun, just one on each note card, okay? Now, you take those note cards and you flip through them very quickly, and you think of one question or one statement from each of those note cards. Why is that gonna help you practice continuing conversation? Because this is how you continue a conversation. When you're listening to somebody, you extract a word from what they're saying, and then you're able to either from that point say a comment on that or a statement or ask a question. And being able to practice that skill of hearing a verb or a noun and continuing conversation with the cards will help a lot. And you only have to do it for 10 minutes a day. So a lot of you guys have been asking me in the comments where I'm traveling, what I'm doing, what I'm up to. And I even had a few of you ask me for some literal trip advice, some travel advice. So I just wanted to share with you really quickly where I'm at and what I'm up to. Right now I'm at this hostel, you can see right here. It's called Alexa. I've been to a lot of hostels lately. And some are good, some are bad, and sometimes one sticks out that is absolutely amazing. And it's this one. I wanna give you a quick tour because this is one of the best hostels I've ever been to. It's in Chiang Mai, and I highly recommend if you ever go to Chiang Mai, which I know is a popular destination for people in Thailand, that you go to Alexa. One of the reasons why it's been so awesome here, and Brittany and I have loved it, besides the fact that it's really clean and really nice and really new and modern, is that they have like social things going on, right? They have live music on the weekends, they have people hanging out, people drinking, there's really good food, and the people here are so freaking nice. My one bit of advice to you is if you're gonna be traveling, find a hostel that serves amazing food. That is one of the best things you could do, and it makes it so convenient so you can just grab some food here. Here they have a free breakfast, so you can get like a free breakfast and then go on your way and do cool things for the day. Highly recommend. Before we eat our lovely dinner at the Alexa Hostel, we had to just take a quick trip to Dara Devi, which is a beautiful resort. Unfortunately, we are not staying here, but it's okay. Alexa's still amazing, but uh, there's definitely some good photo ops. We wanted to check it out. The third habit that will help you out is every single morning drinking a smoothie with lots of greens in it. Unfortunately, I cannot do that this time because I'm doing a lot of traveling, so it's difficult to continue that habit, but for a long time, every single morning for breakfast, I was putting in a lot of greens into a Vitamix and then drinking my green smoothie. All 
right, so Alexa just hooked us up with an awesome meal. Got some beer, got some wine, and it was absolutely delicious. Did you like it? Brittany approves it. Now you're probably thinking, Trip, what green juice, what does that have anything to do with being irresistible to women? Well, here's the thing. If you make a green juice every morning with some spinach, some kale, a little bit of apple, a little bit of banana, first of all, it's gonna taste very good, but also it's gonna make you ingest nutrition. Nutrition is fundamental to your mental health. That's right, these nutrients are being absorbed to your body, making you feel good physically and emotionally. It's helped regulating all the things that are going on in your body. No, I'm not saying it's gonna solve your problems if you have mental health issues, but being nutritious does help with a lot of them. And in order to be able to keep up with these habits, in order to keep up with being able to go and approach girls, in order to, you know, feel good about yourself and self-esteem and pushing yourself to do things and not feeling anxious and depressed all the time, I think that's gonna be pretty irresistible to women but it's also gonna be helping you and encouraging you to go out and do something. Now the next one is kind of related to the last one because the last one I just told you about getting nutrition in your body to be able to have you get energy and feel good throughout the day is gonna help with this one, which is reading 15 minutes per day. No, not watching YouTube videos, although I'd love for you to watch all the YouTube videos I have on my channel, but actually sitting down with a book or a Kindle or whatever and reading. Reading something from a blog, reading something from a book, whatever it is, but reading, okay? Now reading is gonna be helping you because you're gonna be learning. And learning is obviously good, and because why? Well, it makes you smart, and we wanna be smart. We wanna be intelligent. We wanna learn things, know things, so we can be better human beings. And of course, that's always gonna be very attractive to women. The last one is eye contact. Practicing eye contact every single day, because eye contact is one of those skills that I found a lot of guys aren't good at. I wasn't good at it either for a long time because it's very scary to look somebody right in the eye. So what I want you to do is practice eye contact for 15 minutes per day. How do you do this? Well, you can practice when you're talking to the girl when you do that one approach, or I'm gonna put a link in the description to a video where you can practice eye contact. And it's not a 15 minute video, but if you do that once per day, that will help tremendously because eye contact shows a girl that you're confident and helps build a connection with the girl that you're talking to, hence making you irresistible. So what I'll do is I'll give you a little bit more of a tour of the rest of the place on tomorrow's vlog, but for now, I wanna wrap up the video by telling you that these five habits can take you a total of one hour and 15 minutes. That's right, these five habits spread out through the entire day only take an hour and 15 minutes. And I know that seems like kind of a big chunk out of your day, but in reality it's not, especially when you're just spreading out in these little 15 minute chunks. So could you imagine for 30 days being able to accomplish these five habits? Can you imagine how that would change your life, being able to go and approach a girl, reading 15 minutes a day, drinking that really nutritious drink, practicing eye contact, practicing conversation cards. Imagine what that could do for you. So. I wanna do a little challenge here, because I know a lot of you guys watch YouTube videos and then pretty much do nothing with the information and move on to the next thing. Trust me, I've been there too. I completely get it. So let's see how many people are gonna do all five and try to do it for 30 days. So if you're gonna do it, write down in the comments below, I'm gonna do five. Let's see if you are going to take on the challenge of starting to create these habits. So write down in the comments below, I'm gonna do five or I'm gonna take five. Do that right now. I'll see you in the comments. Hopefully that's gonna be you and I'll talk to you very soon on tomorrow's vlog.